What's up everyone? Thank you for joining me on this super nice day today. I'm hoping to find some good stuff today. I feel lucky. Really, I do. Feel really lucky today. Let's see how it goes. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, one of my buddies is selling here and he has some stuff set aside. It's a cool thing when you know people and get stuff set aside. It's the best thing I recommend you guys get to know people and make friends instead of going out searching and searching, which is pretty fun too. But it's nice to know when you go to the flea market and you have stuff set aside for you. Here's a cool, uh, was it Patagonia? Patagonia one used. Let's see what else he has. Delta made in USA Indiana 500 that's pretty cool that's pretty dope still with the tags back home again I like the coloring on this that's cool let's see what else we got in here got another sweater pro player made in USA Boston Red Sox Got a little little stains here, it's no big deal. I'll probably just hand wash it. I think that's the best thing I can do, maybe. But it's still with the tags. That's pretty nice, right? I like the coloring. Coloring on this. This right here. Oh. He already knows. Vintage Cutco. This is for the bread, I think, right? Made in USA. Got this one for the soup. Look how old the handle is. It's pretty old, right? <laughs> this is a little... I think it's kind of bent-ish. Gotta unbend that. Or maybe it's supposed to be curved, is it? I don't remember. I've I've bought old ones before, but I don't remember. There's another another vintage one right there. And for the bread or the for your steak steak knife. It's pretty clean. And I think that's about it. I think this is just a backpack. Alright, cool. I'm gonna see how much he wants. All right, so for the Cutco stuff, there's four of them. Got two sweatshirts and the Patagonia. They're gonna let it go for 40 bucks for everything. 40 bucks is not, uh, you know, it's like 10, 20, 30, 40, 10 dollars a piece and the set, which is, I think, super pretty good. So let's you know, pour this up. Put that there. Ooh, ooh. 20, 40, there's 40. Thank, All you right. so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'll Thank see you, you next time. If you have any more, let me know. Okay. Coin, huh? No, no coin, man. It's definitely cool. I, I collect, uh, I, 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 I keep the coin. Oh, you do? It's an old, yeah, an old dog buckle. Like me. Is I'm trying to see if there's any cracks on this turquoise. I don't see any cracks. Is that? I don't know. I think it was just like wiped down. Silver. I like the buckle. I like how simple it is. I'm really digging this belt buckle. It's pretty cool. It's pretty simple. It's not too flashy. There's a similar one. If you, if you can see, it looks really similar on the edges where it's like little, little, little bumpy artwork but the center is completely different. So whether he's gonna ask uh, 75 or 100, 125, I'm sure I can list it around 225 or best offer and sell it around that price. So I think this is Mexico. Yeah. This one's cool. Oh, 
Check that. Check it out. Okay. I like it's all like hammered down. The work. It's a cool piece. It's pretty heavy too. What do you guys think? Yes, no, yay. I like it. I don't know if I want to buy it, but I like it. many <laughs> sizes? Okay, this is 20, this is 20, and this is... Alright guys, so the, I told the vendor I was going to come next, uh, well this week, and I was going to come late. Because I had a few things to do, so he was nice enough to set uh, a little lot for me aside, aside from the stuff on the table. I did come late, and all the good stuff on the table is gone. I was able to get that belt, that little uh, buckle, luckily. Fortunately, that's, maybe there might be more on the table, I'm not too sure. But uh, all the good stuff is taken, but he set aside a, a few things for me to look at. Um, stuff he usually does, like as I mentioned before, he doesn't take out certain things out of this market because he has other markets he could sell it better. And I'm pretty much one of those buyers that uh, will pay for certain things if I do like it. You know, you guys know, you guys see my videos, you guys watch them. Yeah, no problem. I like this, but I like it if it was older. It's pretty new. Especially if, if it's uh, if it's like Navajo and it's stamped, I love buying those beads. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. It's Caroline Pollock. The thing is, the market for Caroline Pollock has been uh, with with me on eBay. Like some, I don't know. He might ask seventy, eighty dollars for this, and they like this specific design. I still have a turquoise one listed at one twenty. And it has not moved. But I, I, I like buying the, uh, the designs from Caroline Pollock. They're not old. They're, they're more newer style. But still like just uh, the way they're made. They're super nice. I mean look it. Like those are, they're really nice right? Like I wish I can sell them for $200, $300. But it, it's not there. Um... I'll probably just ask anyway to see how much he wants. If, if it's like 50 bucks, I'll I'll take a chance on it and still have it sitting there for a while, but I'm not too sure. It's gonna be an if for me. Looks like Imperial Armani. I know that logo, right? That is. That is. It is, right? I'm talking to myself. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's stamped right inside. Maybe you guys can kind of see. Imperial Armani Sterling Silver. They do some, they do make sterling silver, by the way. And it fits me. I have a bracelet from them that doesn't fit me, which sucks because I really like that bracelet. It's just too small. I like this one. I think this is Mexico. Is it? Yeah, it's Mexican. That's a cool necklace. It's pretty dope. It's a little short, though. I mean, for me. Um, Smart Tasco. I just like the links on the on the necklace. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna ask about that one. Bunch of stuff in here. Let's check out this ring. Let's see. Trying to make sure there's no cracks or damages on this stone. And what does that say? Handmade in Denmark. Sterling. H U. What is that? H U. Let me look that up really quick. Let me see who it's, uh, who the designer is. I found this exact same. Oh wait, it's not the same one, but it, it's like the same style, right? So the same is from the seventies. Let's let's see the hallmark. That's what I want to know if it's the exact same hallmark. And no, nothing. Okay. Um, you guys can see right. That's how the back looks like of the ring. Exactly. It may or may not be the same ring. 
But that one sold for, and well, I was saying this was 1960s, it sold for $229. Uh, I don't, not not eBay, but like somewhere else. But if that's a if that's a sold comp right there, then I'm definitely going to be interested in buying this. So this is a, a a yes. We're not sure how much you can want, but it's a yes so far. It's a Del Paco. What does that say? Keystone Bro, San Francisco Sterling. That's cool. It's a cool buckle. Western buckle. It's a gold plated, uh, or it's probably brass or gold plated. If it's gold plated, it's most likely going to be 10k plated, even though it's, it doesn't say that. Keystone Bros. 10 bucks. <laughs> you just laughed at me. Never mind. Oh, really quick, I'm setting stuff aside. How much do you want for this one? I just want to know the price. Yeah. Esta quiero lo menos 75. 75. Okay. All right. Yeah. I figured. Yeah. I don't know. 75 i mean it's not bad anyway for 75 if someone's gonna want it for themselves that's a good price but this one i i it's not worth it's not enough money for me to really be like oh you know i'm gonna double i'm not gonna double my money it's a charm bracelet abby maddie ryan and billy oh billy Where's that from? What movie is that from? Oh, Billy. If you guys know, put it in the comments. The real ones will know. Lucien Element Sterling. I never heard of that before. Okay, so there's some listed at like 100, 129, 60 with one charm. Six charms is 250. Let me, let's go to Soul Comps. Okay, so $8 for. A, just like a single charm a charm itself which is different sold for 2050 uh and one sold for 75 i think this these took an offer on this one but the charms are different yeah um no not really not gonna be a player on this one maybe someone who likes it will, will take it oh i know what this is this is either John Hardy or Gucci. Let's see if I'm right. One of the two. That's what I mean, guys. When you buy jewelry so much, you just kind of know when, uh, just by looking at a style, you know what it is. Like that buckle. I mean, I know the mark is right there, but that's a Diablo. I know by the logo, the design. That's the cool thing about when you guys go out there and, and just focus on one specific hobby or something. I'm gonna call it a hobby. You guys know what to look for from a distance. You guys know what it is. So, yeah, I was right. So, th I mean, it's not the actual John Hardy, but this is Jai John Hardy. You guys saw my last video. I did sell some J uh, Jai John Hardy to my buddy. Uh, you know, like little earrings, uh, bracelets. And, um, yeah. Let's see, this one fits. And it fits me, too. That's dope. Check that one out. It's got like little citrines in the eyes. That's cool. I definitely want this one. That's for sure. I sold earrings. I think I still have a pair of earrings at my house uh, with a little, like the same design. Uh, no, it's better to like, I didn't, not in the sun. The sun is too, blur, uh, it's too bright. Yeah. I got a stick in here, guys. They're playing. I just... They always play a lot of music out here. And these here is Tiffany. Oh, this is a definitely a buy. You guys already know. I'll buy Tiffany all day. If I can just buy Tiffany and focus on Tiffany, guys, I will. That stuff sells like hotcakes. Tiffany, Elsa Peretti, Spain. A little tarnished, but I got the silver cleaner so I can clean all that off and I'm going to look brand new. What's well, gonna look like brand new? It's not gonna be brand new. That's a definitely a grab. He said 70 on this one. This is super cool, guys. It's so it's so cool. Like I wanna know what the designer is. Like what else there is. Let's see. Tiffany and Co. These are cool sometimes. Um, the keychains. The key rings. Sometimes you'll see like we'll have a big tag. This is like a $40 or $50 one, but he might ask like $30 or $35.
Tiffany Go 925 Mexico. I've only ever come across one. I think it was a bracelet a long time, years ago. So, and I did, and I sold it for pretty good, pretty good money. So this is definitely a must uh, grab. It's like a a butterfly ribbon. That's what it looks like to me, right? What about? What do you guys think? It's pretty cool. Tiffany Co. 925 Mexico. It's marked right in the back. More Tiffany. Come on, more Tiffany. Yep, more Tiffany. Perfect. It's another ball beaded uh, necklace. This is Tiffany. And uh, 925 has Mark Tiffany and Co. right there. Sorry, guys, it's always really hard to see, I know, but it's, uh, it's a Tiffany piece. Nice, no dents, no, no damages, perfect condition. This is definitely going with me. That's going to come home in the box and stay there for months because I cannot list so much. Oh, my Etsy account, guys. I'm listing higher end stuff, like stuff more that's more expensive. So stuff like 150 or less might go on, on eBay because they actually ran a check on my uh, jewelry account where they shut me down for five days. I don't know why. I've never had this happen before. But my limit was at 5,000 when I opened it up and they lowered it down to 3,000. So like, I don't know what's going on. And then my main account, I have a... I think 80 or 90,000 limit, but it's a mixture of everything. And, and I want to just focus on jewelry on one account and, you know, like little picking stuff, as I mentioned before, for another account. And that's that one's actually under review and getting checked by eBay uh, as well. So just not that long ago, I, I uh, got a message and it told me, okay, you're all clear, you're sick, your five days are up, and I'm able to list. Uh, I mean, I was able to list. I just didn't want to list anything. I didn't want to throw out any fl red flags or anything, you know? I don't know. It's kind of weird. That, that really kind of kind of pissed me off, to be honest. That's why I, I created an Etsy account and started listing stuff over there. Put my phone right there. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Lo I love finding enamel pieces. A lot of times where I do find them, they're usually broken or it has, like, little pieces missing. But this one is complete, and it's a, a Mexico one. I'm not sure what it's, it says in the back. I know it says Sterling Mexico and it has the the name of the artist, but either way, I still love how it looks. So, uh, I mean, you know, out of everything, that's the one thing you're gonna look at first, right? Out of all the stuff. Or if this was there, this would be the first thing you'll look at, right? But that's an eye catcher and I like that. That goes right there. Ooh, more Tiffany. Ooh, that's cool. Wow. The rib, like the knotted ribbon. And that might be gold at the bottom. Is it? It is. And what does, Tiffany, it's going to be gold. But it has to be 18 karat, not 14. Let me check out my loop. Let me take out the loop and let me see. Yeah, 925, 750, 750, 750 is 18 karat for those who don't know. I carry my little loop and my little magnets right here. If you guys are unsure, carry both. I just, something pretty simple. So, you know, go around. If it's marked 925, see if it sticks. If it doesn't, it's sterling. Because even uh, silver plated stuff will be marked 925. And for those who don't know, will get fooled like me. When I started buying at first, I bought a lot of fake silver. I said a lot of money, but that's how I learned. That's like that was my school. That was me paying my 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 uh, my classes. Put it that way. But this is super cool, and I like it. With the pouch, doing that, but it's alright. Okay, it's another Tiffany Co. For your for your book, slide this in your pages. I'll see how much you want for this one. I'm gonna, look, see, I'm gonna see how much they sell for. I haven't sold one in a long time. Oh, another Tiffany. Yeah, I was asking for Tiffany and I'm getting Tiffany. Another a ball beaded uh, bracelet. 
I'm always double checking guys don't get too excited when you find cool stuff always double check and make sure it's in the condition you want it to be buying stuff in a hurry it could be pretty bad it, like there might be a it might be first of all you might buy a fake one second of all you might buy one that's damaged dented and that's it the value just goes down by a lot <laughs> but that's just like the same tag as the other one or it might be a set maybe I don't, i'm not too sure but that one goes right there a little turquoise pendant rb it's probably running bear my best guess could be wrong but yeah it's pretty cool it's a little cute pendant I see more Tiffany. Next time I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna, before I get here, I'm gonna say, I hope he has more Tiffany. What the heck is this? Tiffany and Co. Is that a ring? What? I've have you guys ever seen this before? I've never seen this. Mark Tiffany and Co. right there it has like a design right there, and it has. I thought this was just stuck, but apparently it goes like that. What? I've never seen this before. Does it fit me? No. Oh. Well, maybe. No, it doesn't fit me. Or what if I put that there? Nope. It fits right there though. Then I buy it just because I've never seen it. Huh. All right. Well, that goes. These are always, I saw these all day. These little open heart Tiffany & Co. earrings. Anywhere from like $80 to $120. It really depends how they are selling. It's so weird. One minute they're like at $120 to $150. The next thing they're selling like around $80. Bucks. Auction, they can go anywhere from like $65-ish. Close to $70. But I don't do auctions. Auctions are always very kind of scary. Especially when you're paying as much as I am for stuff. It can go either way but uh yeah these are oh i lost it oh here we go okay those are definitely the backings aren't tiffany i have to remember to put that i made the mistake one time by not putting the the backings and the person returned it because they said i didn't uh well, i didn't put it in. that was my bad and these these are the only tiffany's i don't buy i'm probably gonna ask why because there's so much of this design even though they can sell for over 100 bucks but so many sell for like 75 to 80 bucks for such a heavy original Tiffany piece with this one. If it just said, please return to, and it, if it didn't have the Tiffany right there, those sell more. I sell those for way more, like 250. It's so weird, right? I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get the market, but um, it's the only one I'm gonna pass on. Cause he does, he does get a lot of these. Uh, someone else always ends up buying it. I, I just, I'm all right. Tiffany Co. Marathon pendant. All right, perfect. Is Remember mine? Boom, perfect. This is Tiffany, and that's gonna go with that. One of the necklaces. Nike Women's Half Marathon San Francisco. That looks like a uh, the design. It looks like Chinatown. To be honest, you guys can, can't really probably see it, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's what that's the vibe in the game from. But I got a necklace for this, and you know. We could start with the bell buckle. 90. 90? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, this one? Te parece 50? 50? Get to San Francisco. Yeah. 50. The Tiffany one? 50. Okay. I think it's a good one. Okay, 50 on the Tiffany. Made in Mexico. Made in Mexico. I think it's I think it's vintage. Mm -hmm. Vintage. Uh, the Tiffany bookmarker. Mm, 25. Okay, 25 on the Tiffany bookmarker. The Tiffany earrings? Ten bucks. Ten bucks? Okay. Alright, ten dollars on these. Uh 
uh, the pendant, Hello. Tiffany Hart, 40. 40? Okay. Okay, 40 on this one. The Armani ring? 35. 35? Okay. Got 35. This one, it fits me. It's good. This one, the enamel Mexico piece? 30 for you. 30? Okay. I like it. It's super nice. Uh, the small Tiffany pendant. Um, this one right here? The Tiffany ring? 25. 25? Alright. Up on this one okay this uh, this one says made in denmark mm -hmm. how much is this one okay ten dollars that is it 40. <laughs> okay okay this one right here the the Tiffany ring yeah 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 125 for this one. It's pretty dope. Yeah, <laughs> 150 for the one. 150? Okay. Okay, 150 right there. And for this one? Is that the Tiffany? 50. 50? Okay. 50. 50 bucks. All right. <coughs> um, total out at 170 for everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> 740. 740 for the whole lot. I almost tricked myself to believing in 140. <laughs> okay, I'll fold everything up. Put the big bills in the middle. In the 20s outside, so it looks like I'm just getting like 20 bucks. That's everything there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you uh, next week if you have some more stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He forgot to show me this other box of, uh, of jewelry, of more Tiffany, more Tiffany stuff. Let's check, let's check these out. It's always taking out stuff. Like I, I never stick around for so long to find out what he's taking out. But this is a Tiffany and Co. money clip. I think if I'm correct, these go for like seventy-ish, maybe eighty dollars, maybe up to a hundred. They vary. It's kind of weird. I sell them so between seventy to hundred bucks. So it's uh yeah. Take that one. Oh, there's there's earrings in this one. Okay, these are also Tiffany. There's like little woven mesh oro, style oro, oro, Henry. little earrings. Look for some gold. The good thing is the backings are Tiffany. That that gives it more value. It really does, believe me. Oh. People when they buy Tiffany stuff, they they want the backings to be Tiffany when they're earrings. If not, then you know, probably knock it down by by some not too much, but when you say I have original backings on it, hey, makes it so much better. So these are, these are a must grab. Man, if I can buy just Tiffany every day, I could retire soon. I'll retire fast, believe me. And buy them at cheap too. If I can buy them cheap, that even better. Cause it's nice. It has the pouch for it, so that's that's good. Ooh, it has an Effie. If you guys don't know what. Um, this brand called Effie. Go to the website. Look up, look up Effie.com and check out how much they have their silver and gold price at. I'm carrying a ring right now. I was gonna bring to somebody, but they didn't show up. So I'm gonna list it on eBay. I'll show you, I'll show you guys what I got. This one still has the tags. Effie 925. This one's sterling silver. Sterling silver cross. You guys wouldn't believe how much this this stuff is priced priced on on their on their website. It's insane. 
I like the enamel on the, on the cross. And the, and the necklace itself is pretty cool too. So this is definitely a, a must grab for sure. Set that one back in here. Okay. And is there anything else here? What is that? It's a piece of silver. Is that Tiffany? No, wait. No, it's not silver. It's just, it's nothing. Oh, I'm gonna give that back to him. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I've, I've sold this one before. I think last year, the double hearted blue enamel with the other uh, heart pendant. It says, uh, please return to Tiffany & Co. I think, this one sells pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put up the listing of how much they sell for. I've gotten one of these one time and got one again. It's really nice. It's very, it's pretty. That's what it is, it's pretty. It's pretty. So this is definitely one I'm gonna, gonna take. I'm gonna take all of it. I'm just saying. I'm gonna take all this stuff. Cool. Ooh. This one. See? Effie. And I'm holding the camera right now, so bear with me, please. Check out the retail on this one. 2290 in the store. And it's 14 karat. Solid 14 karat. So something like this, I was going to bring here and sell for 700 But the person didn't show up, so I'm just going to list it online. List it on for like 1000 you know, or maybe a little bit less. I mean, it's, I got it pretty cheap I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna I'll just tell you guys anyway I, I, I got it for 300 I got it for 300 bucks so yeah it was on a Sunday I got this one for $300 and people out there don't care I mean they don't care how much the, it retails you know just want to get rid of stuff I was glad to pay 300 bucks for that one so yeah most of the I'm just gonna listen online gonna come home with me back to the house But you guys see why I go to this flea market, right? Like that, just that one vendor makes the whole, makes my whole day. I mean, I do find other stuff from other vendors, but since I'm always going for jewelry, he's the two, you know, the go-to guy, especially at this market. So like every, every market I go to has like different vendors and I do buy off of them. I just like recording this one because he's literally the only one who lets me record and feels comfortable letting me do that type of stuff. So this is actually the end of the line for me. I'm gonna get on home gonna finally list a few more things online that now that i finally can this is my key i gotta get going i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoy this one take care